Well, I'm Sandhya. I'm with the Universal Income Project. We're a nonprofit organization that's dedicating to building a grassroots movement around the idea of basic income. And I'm here today with Matt and Beth. Hey, I'm Matt, and I work on Basic Income Project at Y Combinator. And, um... and I'm Beth, and I am uh, the research director for the Basic Income Project. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for being here with us today. We appreciate your time. Um, so just to kick things off, what are you guys hoping to get out of the Oakland pilot? We are, the pilot is very much um, a chance for us to prepare for the larger, a larger study. Um, it's much more, um, we're not trying to answer any of our research questions. We're going to test out our payment mechanisms, refine outcome measures, you know, survey instruments and all those kinds of things and really try to figure out the best way to do this larger study. You know, we're going to make mistakes with anything, you know, like this. We'd rather make them and figure it out, address unintended consequences before we launch a larger study. Um, so it's really an opportunity to um, design, enhance the research design for a larger study. Absolutely. Um, so what personally makes each of you most excited about this project? Well, so for me, thinking about basic income as a concept is most exciting. I think it's something where there's quite a bit of political intrigue around it from a broad political spectrum, which is something that's really rare in how we see ideas these days. Um, I think, I, I don't know that it's like necessarily the solution like basic income and that's why we're doing this research and it's why I'm really excited about the research, but it seems like it does have a lot of aspects of it that could make it successful, relative simplicity and political interest around it. So to me, I find that most exciting. Mm -hmm. I think for me, I've studied poverty and existing social programs quite a bit. And, um, you know, they're not working. They're not efficient. They're not effective. Um, and just the, the chance to give people um, the opportunity to plan, you know, four or five years in advance, they know, that, you know, they're not going to have to worry about paying rent or, or, you know, feeding their family. So what does that free them up to do? How does that, you know, I think we, we see like cycles of poverty. And I think we create that a lot with some of the structures um, that we currently have in place. And so just, you know, this is definitely a very different approach and having the opportunity to see what happens with it um, is really exciting. Absolutely. Um, so you guys recently announced that you'd be doing the pilot program in Oakland. Um, how are you hoping to engage the local community in Oakland around the pilot? We, you know, I think there's, there's multiple areas. Um, you know, we want to work with community organizations, um, with the social service groups, with government. Um, you know, part of it is designing, you know, th there's two parts to this. One is designing an intervention, like getting people a basic income, and the other is designing an evaluation of that. Mm -hmm. um, and so really in terms of designing the intervention, talking with people, um, learning, you know, what's the best way to pay people, you know, just and, and what constitutes a basic income in Oakland. Mm -hmm. Um, and working with the community rather than coming in, you know, externally, um, we're very uh, committed mm -hmm. to doing that. I would just add to that too that I think it was a huge reason why we chose to do it here in the Bay Area. Um, we felt like it would give us a better ability to be engaging with people, like in the in the community. Um, you know, like we are, we've existed here for eleven years. We know people in academia, in local government, community organizations, so it just felt right for being able to do a really good job with that and do the best research. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what good feedback have you gotten from people and organizations that you've talked to about this plan? There's a lot of excitement, even with a, you know social service organization staff who you know are um, currently administering the programs. I mean, they say they'd love to be able to just give um, and so, you know, I think, you know, we've received a lot of positive feedback from, you know, a number of groups, um, you know, at all different income levels, you know, different political backgrounds. Um, it's been fairly positive. Great. Um, so there are a lot of possible areas of focus when studying basic income. Um, we're talking about evaluating impact on health, education, creativity, uh, economic success. Which areas do you think are going to be most illuminating in your studies? So I think, um, you know, in the past, certainly with the negative income tax um, studies, and then even 
Like I think in Finland, they're preparing, they're really focusing on the labor market outcomes. So like, do people still work? And I think that is less, you know, that's not a central focus for us. Um, we're much more interested in, you know, the, the well-being, you know, both subjective well-being um, and then, you know, material hardship kinds of things, financial health, um, really more of a holistic view of how this affects people's lives. Um, and, you know, because I do think that there are you know, multiple dimensions that basic income affects and a lot of those others maybe, you know, lead to very um, social cost savings and like, you know, they contribute in other ways. Um, and so being able to observe some of those would be great. Awesome. Um, and then assuming that the pilot goes well, what's next? So we hope to do a larger, long-term, um, longer-term study. Um, you know, one of the things with basic income to me is that it, it allows you to plan into the future, you know, having that security. And so I think it's really important to really understand the effects of a basic income. You need to have it, I mean, ideally, you know, forever. But I think, you know, most studies have been like one to two years. And I think, you know, giving it several years to allow you to plan is really important. And so I think that's where we're going to learn much more. And so, you know, we are using the pilot to be able to design this larger, um, you know, a lot more participants, uh, longer term study. I would add to that too, that I think it's important to think about uh, that this type of research is like longer term research too, like to really know if it's working or not, like it's going to take years to see like how people's lives are affected or not. And we can't rush those aspects. So in terms of like thinking like what's next, 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 it's harder to project out, uh, I think very focused step one is, okay, on an individual level, does this seem like it's good for people? And if it is, then that creates a host of pathways a couple years down the line. If it's not, then uh, going back to the drawing board to some, thing, to some degree and thinking uh, what, other, what other types of ideas could there be mm -hmm. that could have the same type of effects. Great, well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Today. For sure, <laughs> this was fun.